with multi-digit multiplication, because you can't remember how to do it, that's what this video is for. I believe it starts at page 10 in your packets. So we have our two methods that you guys like to use usually on multi-digit multiplication. The first one I'm going to show you is the traditional way. So we start with our ones place and we do ones times ones, so four times two. And if you don't remember your math facts, you can make yourself a multiplication chart. I'll try to post a picture of this as well so that if you can't remember how to make it, you can copy this one or refer to this one. So I already solved this problem, 132 times 34. However, I wanted to show you up close the solution. So we start with this ones place. We start with the four, okay? So four times two is eight. We start with the ones times one. So four times two is eight. I stay with the fours place. This is not addition, it's multiplication. So I don't move to the three yet. I stay with four and I go four times three. Four times three is 12. So I write a little one, I carry the one to the next place and write the two. So that's 12, one, two. But I can't write the 12 down here. I can only write one digit. So I write one, two, 12. Then I do four times one, which is four. And then I have to add that one to it and that equals five. Okay, so four times one is four plus one more, five. So 520 is my first row of answers. I got those answers from the four, okay? Now I can move to the three, the tens place. Because I'm moving to the three, I go to another row of numbers, all right? I put a zero in that first ones place because I'm in the tens place now, okay? I bump over, remember we call it bumping over, so you can put a zero or an X, whatever you want there, a star, a happy face. All right, so now I'm on the three. I don't start here because I can't forget about that two, so I start three times two, which is six. That's what goes there. Three times three is nine. Three times one is three. Okay. Now that I have my two rows of numbers, I did the four times each of the top numbers. I did the three times each of the top numbers. Now I can take those numbers and add them. Add eight plus zero, eight. Two plus six, eight. 5 plus 9, 14, I carry the 1, write the 4, 1 plus 3, 4, so 4,488. Array model. So, I'll remind you about the array method. In this one, we break down the numbers we're multiplying. So our first number is 132, okay? So we're just gonna break that down into its parts. The one is 100, the three is 30, and the two is two, okay? So there's our first number, 132. Our second number goes down the side. So it's 34, the three is 30, and the four is four. And then I just build my area box. Then I use each box to multiply what's on the side by what's on the top. So this box is 30 times 100, which is 3,000, because the one times three is three and there's three zeros, okay? This box is 30 times 30, which is 900. This box is 30 times two, which is 60. Now I go down to the four row. This box is four times 100, 400. This box is four times 30, 120. And this box is four times two, eight. So I use the number on the side and the number on the top, okay? Now I take each of those numbers, 3,960, 8, 120, and 400, and I write them down lined up so my ones, tens, and hundreds stay together. And I can add up all the ones. I have 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, 9 plus 4 plus 1 is 14, so I write the 4 and carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4,488. So that answer matches that answer.
Okay, either way you do it is fine. Now, same thing if I go to the thousands place. This time I have thousands, but I do the same method. So I start with my ones, which is eight. I have eight ones in this number 18. Eight times four, 32. Now I crossed it out because I had moved on, but I put the three up there and the two down there. So eight times four is 32. Eight times zero is zero, plus three more is three. Eight times one is eight, and eight times three is 24. Now there's no other number for me to carry the two to, so I can write 24 out there. I don't have to carry the two. Okay, sorry, that's a little wobbly, guys. All right, now that I did my eights, I did eight times all of these top numbers, I have that whole row finished. Now I move to the next row, okay? So I can move to my one. I don't start with one times zero because I can't forget about that four, okay? So I put my placeholder in the ones place, and then I do tens times ones. One times four, four. One times zero, zero. Now I crossed out that three because I don't need it anymore. It's from the top row, okay? So I did one times four, one times zero, one times one, one, and one times three is three, all right? So then I can add these two rows. Two plus zero is two, three plus four is seven, eight plus zero is eight, four plus one is five, two plus three is five. So I get 55,872. Whew, okay. To do it array way, I just take that number, 3,104, and break it down. 3,100, I don't have to put the zero, but I like to placehold that zero, and four, okay? And then my other number is 18, so I break it down 10 and eight, 10, eight. And then these boxes are just 10 times 3,000, 10 times 100, 10 times zero, and 10 times four. This row, eight times 3,000, eight times 100, eight times zero, and eight times four. Now I take those boxes, I checked them off because that helps me keep track as I write them down. 300,000, check. 24,000, check. 1,000, check. 800, check. 40 check and 32 check. I add those up and I get 55,872.